and the gun is unloaded. Take a look down there. See the chamber is empty and there's no round right here. So I'm going to show you how the trigger pull is. It's a pretty nice light trigger pull. I'd say it's probably like four to five pounds. This is the Henry 22 and I've got the targets at about 100 feet. These are real small targets. They're probably three inches across. And I'm going to start at the upper left, put four or five rounds in each one. So I thought I'd go over a few of the features of the Henry 22. It'll shoot uh, shorts, 22 longs, and 22 long rifle. And I bought some <coughs> Winchester shot shells. I'm going to try those out here too. The Henry 22, it's got a nice smooth action. It has a, uh, this is a safety, sort of a half cock position. Hear that click? Can't move the trigger then. The rear sight on the Henry is adjustable for elevation right here. And there's also a dovetail in there, so you can adjust it for windage. I found that uh, mine right out of the box shoots great, right to point of aim. At uh, 50 yards with iron sights, I was getting five or six inch groups with it. So I didn't need to adjust for windage at all. pretty good for uh, at 50 yards at 50 yards the front post is about that wide so not too bad here's what the sight picture looks like it has a hooded front blade sight and buckhorn sights on the back there's a dovetailed rail built into the top of the receiver so you can mount a scope
Okay, to load the Henry, you have a tube magazine right here. And it'll hold 15 long rifle cartridges. Or if you use shorts, you can get up to 21 in there. There's a couple other little details you might be interested if you're if you want to purchase one of these Henrys. The uh, front sight is made out of plastic, and so is this band here. And uh, the barrel band here is also plastic. The I don't know if this is going to show the the lever right here is a little rough on the machining. It's not really formed perfectly. But for the price you pay for this gun, I got it on sale for $240. I think you can't beat it. It's an excellent gun. Shoots really nice. The action is smooth. Nice, nice wood on it. Hardwood stock. It's good value.